All right, today we are going to discuss another mid-journey alternative. We are going to continue our ditch mid-journey series. There are many other great tools as well. Other companies are also entering into the space of generative AI. I still don't like paying high cost for software. If you are like me, getting into AI art, I just want to play around first, get my prompts correct, and then commit into paying for a good software. But why pay when there are great other alternatives? I have been looking at the pictures generated by other software. They are also very good. I have used Midjourney as well, but Midjourney also has scrapped their free subscription, so you have to pay now. This tool we are going to discuss today is completely free to play around and actually generate good AI art for small entrepreneurs and students who want to get into AI art, experiment a little bit, or maybe you want to sell your art on Etsy or you know, get into print on demand using AI art. That area is also quite booming. You don't want to be spending so much money in the beginning. In any case, I don't like paying for subscription based models for software. In the long run, you end up paying a lot. If it was a one time payment, I would probably consider buying it. We are going to look at a software called Leonardo AI. To use Leonardo AI, you need to create an account. Instead of going to the actual website of the tool, go to the app.leonardo.ai link. Sign up, use your email, pick your username, select your interest here, click on the confirmation toggle, start using Leonardo. So you get 150 credits, which is plenty of tokens or credits to play around with. You have the community feed here. Look at all these great images that has been created by this tool. You have your personal feed. If you have your own data set, your images, you can train the model. Leonardo also has these fine-tuned models, which they have trained themselves with specific images. Dream Shaper, you have the chest armor thing here, assets. This is our AI image generation tool. You can select the number of images to be generated. You can adjust your width or height independently or select one of these preset dimensions here. You might get this warning light here once in a while if you play around with the width and height because the some of the models are trained with images of certain heights and you have this aspect ratio here and that's the square one or three that is a landscape one here is where you enter your prompt so i'm just going to copy and paste a prompt that i have which is generated using Ch uh, chat gpt really and you can also add a negative prompt the things that i don't want at the image like malformed face or arms or, or like if it's blurry i don't want any of that so it will and you have the models there and you have the styles here here is the prompt generation it will generate a prompt ideas for those like based on the input that you gave there so this is where all the image generation takes place we'll come back to that prompt generation now i'm going to try the prompt that i got from chat gpt all right that's what you get coming back to the our prompt generation you can edit it if you click on this but I don't usually edit it. You still have to copy it and paste it because they have disabled it. Direct generation from the prompt generation tab. This is how it will look like. All right, okay, that is actually better. The When I use the prompt generation from Leonardo itself, it actually creates better pictures. Let's do a person. I think uh, the third one is pretty good. I'm going to generate two images, diffusion again, come back to image generation, generate. These are some really good images that it's created. Wow, look at those eyes. Oh, <laughs> my bad i didn't intend to upscale it so on that note actually these are the controls here on the you know, on the images you can upscale it you can read the description here once the upscale is complete you can click on the image and uh, you can compare so let's do the creative upscale now and see how that differs i don't see a whole lot of difference you just play around with this if one is not creating the right kind of upscaled image pick the next one and try that maybe try a different that prompt over there this generation is actually pretty fast that is actually not bad at all really nice let's try a portrait one you can look at the width and height sliders here if the width is less than the height then that is a portrait one so you get more of the body you can go to community feed to see what other people have created and copy one of these prompts quite like this one actually so you can see the prompt details I'm going to copy the prompt. You don't have really have to do that. There is a copy prompt button right down there. I'm just going. In fact, I'm actually going to use that. You can use the image to image as well to create an, another image from this image. So if you click on that, that will get copied to there, and then you can use the image to image option. Let's try this image to image option here. It actually created a very different model, but actually not so bad. I like it. You have to select the right model. I can see that they have used the Dream Shaper 3.2 model. If you click on that, it will load those settings, all of those settings, all except the aspect ratio. All right. Now this looks like the original image that we have provided. Very nice.
here it, oh this image is also very good so you can try the remix one as well that one actually populates the whole thing the entire thing i guess the best option is to click on the remix right these are all the fine-tuned models you can play around with it these dream shaper ones i find uh, they are really good you can you can click on that to come to this page to see all the images generated by that just that model these are pretty realistic pretty creative ones at that too oh that one is pretty good i'm going to remix that one and see what happens click on generate that is not bad at all but i do notice a little bit of squint eyes there you have this remove background option as well you can remove the background and to use in a thumbnail or whatever i'm just going to add uh, one more thing to squint eyes to remove in the negative prompt section to remove that squint eyes there you go a little bit different image but it has removed those squint eyes actually pretty nice save the image like that that is leonardo ai for you be sure to play around with it more mid journey alternatives to come in the next videos now you also have can upgrade this you have it is absolutely a free tool this is what you get with the free tool you don't really need to up upgrade at all but if you want some a uh, little bit of privacy you may need to upgrade just make sure you don't enter anything very controversial to, for it to generate it will block anyway i guess like most of these ai art generation tools are like pretty censored in fact i will actually show you how to bypass that by using your own uh, stable diffusion locally in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that if you come down here yeah they have frequently asked section you absolutely own the images that you create here and it can be used for personal as well as commercial use you are covered in that area you have this not safe for work toggle here in your feed as well so these are actually pretty good images that we have generated today have a look at some of these other pieces the users are generating pretty amazing actually you can gain inspiration from this amazing art here i'm not an artist but i'm a programmer but i'm inspired by all these things without actually being a an artist the ability to do the art like things i always wanted to be an artist so this actually gives me that option to create art even if though i'm pretty bad at it so using technology to create art pretty appealing to a non-artist like me your imagination is the limit and it is licensed by yourself you can use it on print on demand stores sell it to on, put it on t-shirts or marks or whatever printables you know bed sheets you may like this video subscribe goodbye